Hey guys, this is Tommy Farmer, Carolina Cash Pro. Got some tips for you uh, today. I've been asked multiple times recently. I've had several phone calls uh, from customers that wanted detailed instructions on how to properly set the controls, the knobs on these reels, the Akios um, or Akios, depending on uh, your pronunciation. Uh, how to properly set the magnets, the intention uh, controls, the knobs on the, this is your mag, this is your intention, even the drag, I've had questions about that, believe it or not, and uh, how everything should be set. I'm going to break this down today and go into some detail and show you guys how to properly set your reel. And these, these guidelines hold true to a lot of reels, um, especially any Abu Garcia reels um, and, and multiple other reels that are out there on the market now. Uh, can can be set this way, uh, especially those with magnet controls and dual tension control knobs. Okay, I have removed the side plate from 666 shuttle, and I just want to I want to show you how the brake blocks function. If you look right here, that's a brake block. There are two spokes on a 5565 five, and 66 six size reels. They've got two spokes, a place for two brake blocks. One, that's empty, and two, there's one in there. I'll show you how easy it is to change these out. Removed it. Back in place. That's a brake block. It works um, by centrifugal force pushing this block out and rubbing against the inside of a race. It's, it's, it's friction. It's a friction brake. You can run one, you can run two, you can run none. It all depends on your preference and how you, how much control you require. If you, um, if you're run, if you're running two and you remove one, you're going to have to probably increase your magnets uh, to maintain control of your reel. It's really a balancing act. To, uh, to make sure you have control. Anyway, this is a brake block. This, this is going to be typical on Abu Garcia reels, on a kiosk like this is. A lot of your pen reels, uh, there, there are a lot of reels that have this type of a setup. So it's pretty universal and it is a great braking um, method, brake blocks. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I've got the Akio 666 shuttle here in front of me. I want to talk to you about the controls, the knobs, the uh, the buttons. First, we've got your basic engage, disengage button there. Push it in, puts it in free spool, turn the handle, clicks it out. Now you're 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 uh, you've got control with the with the handle. Uh, you've got in tension knob and in tension end tension knob. On both sides on these reels it's on both sides these knobs have two purposes only two purposes first one is to set the spool in the cage centered as you can see this this one's centered it's got the same amount of shoulder showing on each side that's important you don't want it tucked into one uh, side plate or the other the second reason um, that these knobs exist and their function is to set the side to side play. I don't know if you can hear that. It's actually more than I would normally run. It's a little bit loose. So I'm going to tighten this end plate just a little bit. All right, that's it. Just enough. If you can hear it and feel it, that's enough. That takes the tension or the pressure off the bearings. If you tighten down on these, if you crank them down and use them for cast control, it will cause early and premature bearing failure because it pushes and puts pressure on the bearing. You want just a little bit of side to side play. That way it's free. There's no, there's no play uh, or there's no pressure on the bearing. There is play side to side, but no pressure on the bearings. End caps. Two reasons to recap, <laughs> recap, to recap the, uh, the intention, center the spool, and adjust the end or the side-to-side -side play. That's it. There's no other purpose for them. All right, we'll move on here in a minute. Okay, I've covered in pretty good detail the, um, the Akios 666 shuttle. That's going to cover the 555, the 656, uh, the 666. 
and to some degree even the 757. Um, I want to talk about a new reel. This is a brand new reel that Akios has come out with. It's called the F15 Nitron. I really like this reel. It has become, in short order, it's become my favorite drum fishing reel. Um, it is a little different, uh, not dramatically different, but it is a little different from the uh, 666 and the other Akios reels. Um, it only has one end tension knob, and that's on the handle side. The spool is pretty much already centered. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. You just use this knob to set the side-to-side -side play. You can hear that? If you can feel it and hear it, that's enough. Um, this reel also does not have brake blocks. That's something that also is different from the uh, from the 6566 style Akios reels. There are no brake blocks. What it does have is a more robust magnet control system that kind of makes up for the fact that it doesn't have brake blocks. This thing has got over 70 clicks. I think it's 70 or 72 clicks from minimum, from maximum magnets to minimum magnets. What I've found for me on an out-of-the-box reel, which this was a brand new reel, I, I just uh, put line on it. I didn't do any other special tuning to it. I put line on it, put a shock leader on it. About 20 to 25 clicks off of full, off of maximum magnets is where uh, I find this reel really came alive for me. Any more than that, it starts to get fluffy and wants to backlash. So what you've got to do is start. You've got to find your place. What I tell people to do is start almost at full magnets, maybe five clicks off, and then slowly start working the magnets off until you start to get a fluff or a uh, the line starts to lift. Then you know you're just before bird nest. Uh, Any more, and you're going to get in harm's way. So you get to that point, and you back off about three or four clicks back toward maximum, and now you're in a fast, safe zone. That's where you want to operate. And from there, if the wind changes, if the wind blows into your face, you can click a few, give yourself a few more clicks toward maximum to uh, support to support that wind blowing in your face. And if you get a tailwind, a few clicks off, and you can go for maximum distance. Really, really, really sweet reel. One difference is uh, from the uh, S line or the 666 is the disengagement. Instead of a button, it's a lever. Very simple. I really like it. F15 Nitron, my new favorite drum reel.